Hello and welcome to ID8 Explorer Dynamic Filters with ID8 Software. In this video, we will learn about this powerful new feature introduced to enhance element selection within ID8 Explorer. It allows you to search elements throughout your model based on their parameter values, including parameter values in related data tables. What's unique about this filtering system is that it's dynamic, which means that when the parameter values get updated in your model, the ID8 Explorer list will update. Our product ships with basic filters filters and bonus filters. These filters are customizable, which allows you to build the desired search criteria. You're able to save them and reuse them in one project or multiple projects. I will demonstrate a few basic and bonus rules to show you how this feature works. Prior to this release, we've utilized ID8 Explorer Query for enhanced searching. ID8 Query lets us find elements based on parameter values, but there is no way to remember that search criteria. Therefore, it's static. We've also previously utilized the built-in Revit filters to gain the dynamic aspect of filtering the ID8 Explorer list, but quickly realized that they have too many limitations. We wanted a solution with customizable rules that lets you search the criteria to be later reused, and a greater access to parameters when filtering the ID8 Explorer lists. And that's why we've introduced the dynamic filters and integrated it within ID8 Explorer. Let's talk about the out-of-box custom filters. Filters. This is a list of basic rules that comes in preloaded. You can easily check each filter's description to learn more about them. We will talk about this multi-category filter that searches for elements that are modeled in place. We also have a list of bonus rules. We'll look into how to find walls with edited profiles. Then we'll look into creating our own custom filter. Let me demonstrate how you can look for your in-place families. First, set your display to the entire project, sort by category, and then pick the new filter feature and select the multi-category is in place. This will filter the explorer list and show you what is in place in your project. Now, let's look at how this rule was set up. Much like building a Revit filter, you need to select the categories the filter is targeting. Then, notice that we're using an ID8 specific parameter called is in place and it was set to true. Now, select the resultant list and isolate these elements. We have 71 elements as a result of this filter. You'll notice that if you had created a new in-place family, this list will grow to 72, making it dynamic. Next, let's look at bonus filters. Under settings, select manage rules. Click import to import the rule located under program data. This is a folder located outside the project and can be used across projects and select walls has edited profile. Now that it's added to the filter dropdown menu, you can go ahead and use it in your project. Now let's create a new filter. Under manage rules, click new. Select the categories you're trying to target, in this case, multi-category. Give this filter a meaningful name. Let's say we're trying to manage Kobe assets to make sure that they are filled out in this project. We are selecting all categories in this project and excluding tags and model lines. This filter will look for Kobe asset identifiers with blank values. Now that the filter is created, you can go ahead and use it from the drop-down menu. This results in a list of elements in which Kobe assets identifier is set to blank. In watching this video, you can see that in addition to our most popular feature utilizing ID8 Explorer query for enhanced searching based on parameter values, the dynamic filters addition made ID8 Explorer more valuable as your go-to selection tool. For more information on all of our Revit-based applications, be sure to visit our website at www.id8software.com. Additionally, be sure to follow us on all of our social media channels as we continue to publish helpful information on all of our products. Thank you so much for reviewing this video.